Hey folks, it's uh, Thursday night. I'm in Springfield, Missouri, uh, about an hour away from Beaver Lake. I just uh, just finished a 16-hour drive, and uh, and I stopped here for the night. And I'll uh, I'll do the last hour in Arkansas tomorrow morning. Grab a license and uh, and get out and start my Beaver Lake practice. You know, uh, 16 hours on the road gives you a lot of time to think. And uh, one of the things that I thought about, I said, well, you know what, I'm going to do a video, kind of a, a mid-season recap. I can't believe that we're, uh, the season's half, half over. We did, uh, well, the FLW Tour season anyways. I've done three events, I have three left. So I thought I'd take a chance, uh, take a moment, reflect on the first three events, and, uh, and look forward to the next three. So um, for those of you that have been following along, we did uh, Guntersville. Um, Table Rock and Lake Norman. Um, how was my first three events? Uh, well, the first two I was just out of, outside of the money both times and Norman I managed to get a check. So with regards to the goals that I laid out at the beginning of the season, uh, which were three checks, a classic or, or sorry FLW Cup spot and, uh, and a top ten. So right now I've got one of the three checks. I've got three tournaments left to get the other two checks. So I'm kind of online on target for that goal. Um, I haven't got a top ten yet. Um, I still think it's very possible. We've got three events left. We'll see how that goes. The uh, the goal that I'm really kind of on target for right now is a spot in the FLW Cup, and, uh, and I'm pretty excited about that. Right now I'm sitting 41st in the standings. And with double qualifications, they're going to take about 50 guys. Um, like I said, middle of the season, anything could happen right now. But uh, from, I guess, from 31st spot all the way down to 51st, there's only about 20 points in that spread. So I'm going to have to uh, put in some solid performances if I'm going to ensure myself a spot in the Cup. Uh, if we look back to Gunnersville, um, Early February, it was a rattle trap bite. Everyone knew it was a rattle trap bite, and uh, I actually had fish on a rattle trap and a crankbait, and I ended up uh, with nine fish. Actually, uh, all three of the first tournaments, I had nine fish. I haven't been able to get a tournament tournament limit yet, so that's been a little bit frustrating. But uh, after that, Table Rock, Table Rock was. Uh, there's a few patterns going on. The the one I concentrated on, I was fishing way way up some of the the rivers in the dirtier, warmer water, throwing that uh, wiggle work, and uh, again nine fish over the two days, and uh, just outside the money, but valuable points to keep me in that up in those standings. <clears throat> Lake Norman, um, Lake Norman was a spawning tournament as far as I was concerned. Uh, most of my fish were on beds. Or sight fishing. There was a couple key fish I caught on docks, but for the most part, uh, they were all visual fish, including that big, uh, big 411 I got on the second day. Uh, what a valuable fish that was! So that was all uh, shaky head fish, actually. Throwing a, a Mismo doodle worm and a Berkeley uh, shaky worm, five inch shaky worm. I'll be throwing that again this week at Beaver, um, along with a few other things. So if I look back, I don't, I don't think I have any regrets. I wish, I wish I could improve my practice. I feel I'm not practicing uh, to the maximum efficiency. And uh, again, I'll continue to work on that here. This whole game's uh, a learning process, so we're going to keep learning. So let's look forward to. Uh, let's talk about Beaver Lake. Um, Beaver Lake is traditionally clear water lake. It's a small fish, uh, small fish body of water. But last year the water was flooded uh, 15 feet high. This year, up until about two weeks ago, it was low and clear. But over the last two weeks it's been steadily coming up. And today there was some major, major rain, uh, along with some tornadoes. So I was checking out some of the news sites online, and they're calling for more flooding on Beaver Lake dirty water, um, uh, lots of debris floating around. So really, I have no idea what to expect. I'm going to 
get on the lake, launch, check out the water color, check, check out the water temperature. Um, I'm actually going to fish down by the dam where there should be uh, hopefully some clearer water and hopefully um, a little bit cooler. I'm going to try and find some spawning fish. Uh, there may be some, some left on the beds or, uh, or still come up depending on that water temperature. So that about sums this up. Um, oh, you know what? I, I want to take a minute and uh, uh, thank everybody that's helped out in this uh, this endeavor I've been doing. It's uh, it's a big big deal, and uh, I mean I've, I've had help from from all kinds of different angles, and uh, I've never been afraid to ask for help, and and people have been there to help me, so it's been fantastic. Uh, starting with early in the year when Lauren Segrew from Orleans Boat World was uh, helped me get my boat set up ready for the season, then uh, you know all my great sponsors, uh, uh, Shimano, get, getting me some uh, some equipment early in the year for the for the first tournament, uh, Berkeley and Mismo setting me up with the uh, the baits I needed for the first couple of tournaments. They they've really come through for me. Um, on an individual note, I mean, uh, guys back home helping me out, uh, you know, my, my buddy Simon Lavictoire, uh, the guys in the Bass Club have been really encouraging to, for me. Um, some of the ren Renegade guys, just that, that moral support, and also some stuff like uh, I need some work done on my truck. So uh, one of the Renegade guys, Doug Bowes, he, he helped me out, got me, uh, got me taken care of really quick and got me back on the road. So... You know, there's a lot of different uh, different people involved, and, and probably most importantly, my wife, Amer. I mean, without her support, uh, I I wouldn't be able to do this. So, uh, so big thanks to all those people, as well as all of you who've been sending me emails. Um, I, I can't tell you, I must have, since I started this back in February, I've gotten hundreds of emails from different people, and uh, I appreciate the encouragement. I hope the second half of the season will be a little bit better than the first half, and I uh, hope I can hang on for a cut position. Anyways, that wraps it up for tonight. i got to get some sleep, and we will be back online. Um, well, tomorrow night I'll do a blog and let you know what uh, what Beaver Lake's looking like. There's uh, supposed to be a big tournament out there, some like 300 boats, so the lake's going to be crowded. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow night. Take care.